America is ready. In November, Kamala Harris made history as the first female vice president elect who's black and of South Asian descent. But she wasn't the only trailblazer. I'm just so honored and humbled to be the first second gentleman of the United States. Harris's husband, Doug Emhoff, is having a little fun with his new role in this Twitter video. The couple married in 2014 after having met on a blind date. They recently told Jane Pauley of CBS's Sunday Morning they were set up by Harris's best friend. She said, don't Google him. I did. <laughs> She found out he was an entertainment lawyer in Los Angeles, and she, of course, was the Attorney General of California. Amhoff says he was smitten after their first phone call. Here's what he told CNN. And so the next morning, um, I pulled the move of emailing her with my availabilities for the next four months, <laughs> including long weekends. And I said something like, I'm too old, hide the ball, you're great, I wanna see if we can make this work. It worked. She eventually met Ella and Cole, children from his first marriage. It was actually more nerve wracking than our first date. They bonded immediately. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States? Emhoff was right at her side when she was sworn into the U.S. Senate. And at the top of my list, I thank my husband, Doug Emhoff. And when she chose to run for the Democratic presidential nomination. During the campaign, a man rushed the stage as everyone worried for Harris's safety. You can immediately see the resolve on Emhoff's face as her partner and protector. But it is my instinct to be incredibly protective of her because I love her. It's just pure instinct and, um, you know, I would do it again. He recently visited the Library of Congress and learned in the past hundred years there have only been about 20 second spouses. I understand I am the first, you know, gentleman to hold this role and I certainly do not want to be the last. And redefining the meaning of plus one. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News. <laughs> And a reminder that we will have extensive coverage of tomorrow's inaugural right here on KCAL 9 News, as well as KCAL9.com, our streaming service, CBSN Los Angeles, and our CBSLA app.